And good morning, and good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. We will see there the US there it managed to hit another all time high yesterday and back a very positive US earnings. Um, eBay actually beat expectations by about one cent, whereas Intel jumped about 9.2%. Uh, obviously in the back of their results that came out the day before very uh, positive momentum right there and that's helped push a lot of the global markets up that little bit higher bank of america is slightly disappointed but we still had uh, some great momentum from uh, ibm from apple and obviously a lot of the banking stocks still doing well in the back of goldman sachs and um, and jp morgan uh, we do have google reporting today uh, which will be keenly watched so with the u.s markets at all-time highs and you've got uh, low interest rates, uh, lots of monetary uh, support from from the, from the government. Um, should earnings continue to be impressive, I wouldn't be surprised if the um, U.S. markets continue to grind higher. Though I'd be very surprised if we see a massive move to to, to the upside, uh, because we are already at such a, such massive highs. But should earnings begin to disappoint, we might be able to see some uh, further disappointment or uh, further volatility, sorry, in the markets. Um, but until then. You're above potential uh, resistance at 1745, 75, which should act as potential support in the short term. Uh, UK 100 had a great day yesterday, actually moving into positive territory again today, trying to get above potential resistance of 67.74, um, which also coincides with the 21 period SMA. Next potential resistance is at 68.74, and the UK economy continues to look like it's doing better than some of its European counterparts and um, you know there is some interesting data still to come next week so Japan 225 uh, has failed to break through potential resistance third fourth time it's tried to break through 15488 um, we are trading above both moving averages technical indicators are neutral with a crossover in the MACD coming out a break above 15488 would open up 15828 but it's really about dollar yen and dollar yen is really interesting today because um, the US dollar had tried to wrestle control uh, last couple of sessions, but now the, the, the yen is, is coming back in. It's probably more so a little bit of um, US dollar weakness after having a couple of real, real strong days right there. Um, but this is a bearish engulfing pattern which follows a doji formation. I wouldn't be surprised if we retested 101 spot 35 uh, as a potential support, followed by 100 spot 80. Is, obviously, that's a bit more of a negative support. If it got down to there, that'd be more of a negative move. But we have been stuck in a slow grind lower since the start of 2014. Um, so that is quite interesting with dollar yen. Moving quickly on to West Texas crude, real shot on the arm yesterday in the back of that uh, crude oil inventories came in way less than what was expected. A massive dollar move. So if you can't come up with this hammer formation right here, followed by this massive bearish engulfing pattern, the fact that we're moving further forward right now, closing in on one or two, that could open up the next potential resistance at 103. Uh, relatively soon. So this looks quite good, especially after such a, a long period of, of sell-off. The question is, are we going to get a bigger move uh, higher in crude oil, or is this just a retracement before we start a further move back down? And remember that people do look at crude oil as a barometer of global demand. They look at it for, chi for China, uh, for growth, uh, and it has been getting hammered pretty hard considering all the um, fundamentals around the Middle East and Ukraine. So switching on to euro dollar, where it's an area that a lot more uh, FX traders are looking at today, uh, especially with uh, CPI and US jobless claims due. But we broke through one spot 35.68 yesterday. Uh, quite a negative candle, closing in on uh, close near the lows of the day. It's floating right now. We're a fair bit away from the next potential support at one spot 34.55. But the level psychologically that a lot of people will be looking at is at one spot 3500. And as you can see, that is the, the bottom of this candle range. We're closing in it uh, ever so slightly. We're not doing anything so much so far today. But if that level breaks and we close below it, then one spot 3455 might be a formality in the short term. But just keep your eye on the economic data. The macro data will be the big driver for your dollar. Uh, and obviously, there's a lot of turmoil in the Eurozone just now with the really poor ZEW business report that we had. Uh, earlier in the week and obviously you've got the Portuguese banking issue um, uh, the, the, the uh, Banco Esper uh, Santo Esperanto is getting absolutely <laughs> smashed just now it was down about 17% there earlier on in the week and um, you know uh, if we move on to GBP USD actually uh, it's failed to break through one spot 71.84 it's kind of floating right now even in the back of that really good um, 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 oh, really good but the inflationary data that came out for the UK really putting the pressure on uh, the UK to raise rates sooner rather than later. 
um, we're not making any great inroads uh, higher or lower. So we're slap back in the middle of two ranges right now, to be fair. One spot 7184, one spot uh, 7048 on the other side. So economic data wise, uh, as I said, CPI uh, from the Eurozone, followed by jobless claims in the US. Nothing too exciting tomorrow, apart from you've got the sentiment index from Reuters. Uh, never usually that exciting, to be honest. Um, today is more so the day to, to be involved in um, the fundamentals and macroeconomic data side. And Euro dollar is probably where most traders are looking at. And obviously the US indices uh, and crude oil West Texas will be good to keep an eye on today. Look at the chart forum, make insights part of your layer, and join me again uh, tomorrow to find out what happens.